BBC TV news coming from outside the George Galloway speech. What's your name away from? Um, Alvaro Sanchez. I'm the Venezuelan Charts Affairs here in London. That's the acting ambassador, if you will. Wow. And how come you're here today? What's going on? Well, they, they, uh, well there are two reasons why I'm here today, if you will. Uh, first, this is the Venezuelan Embassy. Uh, this is the cultural uh, venue of the Venezuelan Embassy. It's called um, Bolivar Hall. And secondly, and most importantly, more than more important reason that why I'm here is because uh, Venezuela, the Venezuelan government, the Venezuelan people, and me personally, uh, we we fully support uh, the Palestinian cause. That has been the case uh, for a long time ago, particularly ever since uh, uh, Venezuela uh, elected Hugo Chavez as the Venezuelan president 15 years ago. We have been fully, especially in power in government, we have been fully supporting uh, their cause. Uh, we see um, with uh, quite sadly how the Israeli government, the Israeli army has been acting, not only in this particular instance, uh, the, the sad incident that has been taking place with uh, the Israeli army invading uh, uh, Palestine and killing so far over 600 uh, people. Uh, but how, how this has been the case for so many years uh, uh, is really appalling and uh, we uh, fully support uh, their cause, uh, uh, their peaceful cause. This is CCTV with uh, the one and only George Galloway. Um, why, what's been happening today? Why? What's going on? Well, the demonstrations of course are one thing and they're necessary, vital actually, but I felt there was a need for a more in-depth uh, discussion and Q&A uh, to deal with some of the points that talking points if you like or points of questioning that people bring up uh, and I thought it was going to be useful to share my views on some of those and you can see so many people turned up and it was called entirely on social media there was no leaflets no posters no adverts nothing uh, mistakes uh, that are being made on Twitter Facebook and discourse that I'm seeing uh, around the place that I want to insist that we must correct. Uh, and I'm going to start with the most obvious uh, of those. Our battle here, our conflict, our struggle here is not, not, not against Jews. The situation in Gaza has gotten far worse since I was last there, as you may know. And first one, and then several siege-breaking convoys which entered Gaza and broke the siege, bringing material aid, but more importantly, raising the banner of Palestine. The situation that we found there could hardly be worse, we thought, except it now is worse. When we got there, we discovered Something like 80,000 houses, schools, hospitals, clinics, public buildings of all kinds, including the uh, president's residence, including the uh, airport, expensively uh, built by the European Union's taxpayers, uh, schools and hospitals, expensively maintained by the world taxpayer through the United Nations, hospitals and other facilities provided by the taxpayers of many countries and the uh, charity givers of many countries had all been systematically destroyed. Thousands and thousands of people had been killed or maimed. Something like 65,000 people were homeless. The wreckage, the ruin, the smell of death was everywhere. This may not be, and is not, the Holocaust, but it is the Warsaw Ghetto. In fact, it's the Warsaw Ghetto in almost every particular. The Nazis built a ghetto in Warsaw, surrounded it by barbed wire and guards with dogs, and allowed the people inside to waste away and starve. We have to demonstrate, and there's a demonstration next Saturday again uh, in London, and everyone should go to that. You need to pressurise your own Member of Parliament, because most of the Members of Parliament are supporting Israel in this aggression, and the reason for that is that they think there are more votes to be had 
in supporting Israel than standing up for justice. And you have to change that equation by making it clear that if they won't stand up for justice, they needn't bother asking you for their vote. You need to boycott all Israeli products and the services and products of the main companies that are most useful to Israel. Uh, ST Lauder, for example, many products that are deeply involved in this crime, that uh, we should be boycotting them, and we can. Nobody's asking you to give up cosmetics, just buy somebody else's. And um, what would you say to the youth out there or um, the people who are supporting this cause not to give up hope in the, in the sense thinking, you know, that nothing's being done? Because the, the government still aren't hearing, but I have seen a notice, there's a slight change in the BBC, they are reporting a little bit more from Palestine, but not as much as we'd like to. I think that's a very good point you've made, and because you're a broadcaster yourself, you can see that with a fine eye. If we had not protested so vociferously about the bias of the BBC, then there would not have been that small change. There's still got to be much more in the way of change. But action brings results. Not always immediately apparent. Sometimes it's some time before you see the results. But at the very least, when your children, grandchildren ask you, what did you do when all of this was happening? You'll be able to say that every breath that God gave me, I used to try and stop it. I'd like to thank you so much, George Galloway, for taking the time to speak to CCTV News. And, um, you know, check out his um, websites, the demonstrations, all the info, and um, anything else, any, any websites or anything? Well, follow me on Twitter or on Facebook, George Galloway MP on Facebook, at George Galloway on Twitter. Half a million people already have. And it's the fastest way of getting information from me and about the things that I'm doing. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Very kind.